In the rugged hills of Dan, where the sun kissed the earth with fiery warmth, there lived a man named Samson. His lineage traced back to the ancient patriarch Jacob, and his blood flowed with the fierce spirit of his tribe. Dan, the fifth son of Jacob, emerged into the world through the union of Jacob and Bilhah, a Canaanite woman, a black woman. The very name, Dan, meant, judgment, and perhaps destiny had etched this purpose upon his soul. Samson, born under the watchful eyes of the heavens, carried the legacy of Dan within him. His hair, thick and unruly, coiled into seven formidable dreads. As stated, Judges 16 verse 14, each strand whispered secrets of power, for Samson was consecrated from birth as a Nazarite, a chosen vessel set apart for divine purpose. The Philistines, like vultures circling prey, oppressed Israel during those dark days. Their iron grip choked the land, and the people cried out for deliverance. It was then that the angel of the Lord appeared to Manoah, a Danite of Zorah, and his barren wife. The promise echoed through their humble abode, a son would be born, a beacon of hope. And so, Samson came forth, a paradox of strength and vulnerability. His eyes sparkled with mischief, and his laughter echoed across the hills. But beneath that playful exterior lay a lion's heart. His dreadlocks, like coiled serpents, held secrets of might. The Nazarite vow bound him, no wine, no razor upon his head, and a purpose etched in starlight. Yet Samson, ever drawn to the forbidden, fell for a Philistine woman in Timnah. Her eyes held the allure of distant seas, and he defied his parents to claim her. A riddle spun from honeyed words became his challenge, a wager with thirty companions. But love, like a tempest, swept him into treacherous waters. His bride, tearful and desperate, unraveled his secret, and the Philistines rejoiced. In vengeance, Samson set foxes ablaze, their fiery tails scorching the Philistine fields. The cycle of wrath spun on, betrayal, revenge, and defiance. The jawbone of an ass became his weapon, and a thousand foes fell before him. Yet the chains of desire tightened, Delilah, a siren in the night, wove her web. Samson's strength, once invincible, crumbled like ancient walls. And so, in the temple of Dagon, blinded and shackled, Samson stood. His dreadlocks, shorn by treachery, whispered their final lament. With a prayer upon his lips, he pushed against the pillars, and the temple crumbled. The dust settled, and Samson's name echoed through eternity, a judge, a lover, a lion with seven dreads.